since I started making videos for this channel, there has been an urge in the back of my head to make a mini documentary about Helix. I also know that plenty of you guys have been wishing for exactly that. Helix. Welcome to Gothenburg and Lisa Bay's amusement park. We're going to tell you something intense, something thrilling, something really exciting. This is Project Helix. I recently added a vote in the community section of the channel to see what you want to see next. For a start, Lisebeis Tunet UFO23 was in the lead to then rule in favor for Helix and then a complete tie. But in the long run, Helix won. How do you make a mini documentary about a near perfect roller coaster? Can I make the video in the usual length of 6 to 12 minutes? How do I keep it interesting for you to watch if it's longer? How much time will it take me to make this? And final question, can I make it? I still don't know, but I have an idea of how to do it and I will let you be the judge if it worked or not. This is Coaster Stop with a mini documentary about the Mac Rides roller coaster Helix at Lisebay. Also, my second favorite roller coaster in the world. If you didn't know it, my number one is also a Mac Rides roller coaster. In the mini documentary of Mekonica, I mentioned the amazing job that Lisebay made with the social media interaction. This was something that really started with Helix. And because of that, there is so much information and videos to be found. That is also the reason that this mini documentary is going to be more than one part. It is also the reason why it is going to be hard to make. What goodies will I take out from the information available? What fun things should we talk about? Welcome to part one of the mini documentary of Helix. Start from the beginning. Code name Green Fire. Project Start 2010. Concept Mega Coaster. Inversions. Terrain. High speed. Excitement. For a roller coaster to be classified as a mega coaster, the height has to reach at least 61 meters of height and have a complete circuit. First concept Launch lift. Final layout of the mega coaster. Yes, this layout had some cool elements and a mega coaster would look awesome in the park in some ways. But it wouldn't really fit Lisa Bay. Anyway, thankfully, the mega coaster concept was scrapped. For the first time in a coaster stop mini documentary, meet Helix. Multi-launch and terrain. First draft. Second draft. New pre-drop added. Top hat added. Inversion number 7 added. Save the tree. 
final layout. Technical specifications. Length 1381 meters. Height 52 meters. G-force 4.3. Top speed 100 kilometers per hour. Ride time 130 seconds. Side facts. Crossovers. Flume ride two times. Escalator three times. Walkways eight times. Lisa by Bonham, nine times. The announcement. In 2012, rumors began appearing that Lisa by was looking into adding something big to the park. In October the same year, it was finally announced. In 2014, they would open a brand new roller coaster by the name of Helix. Helix was at the time the biggest investment in the park's history with a cost of 240 million Swedish crowns, roughly 24 million euros, and a build time of one and a half years. In a year and a half from now, you will be able to experience one of the most thrilling roller coasters ever built here at Liseberg in Gothenburg. We have a very long tradition of, of building some of the best roller coasters in the world here at Liseberg with Lisebergbahn and with Belder. And uh, we felt that we, it was time to take uh, the next step and, and uh, we haven't built a major coaster in, in 10 years. So, so we thought it's, it's time to, to, to do this. What, what will we experience? Well, it's a, it's a, very, it's a very comfortable ride. It's a, it's a long ride, it's 1.4 kilometers. It will feature six inversions, Ooh. two launches lots of airtime and, and, and you could say the ambition with this ride was to build something really fun, thrilling but fun and, and, and also you could say comfortable in the sense that we, we're, we're using um, uh, the, the blue fire technology with very comfortable trains and, and very very smooth track. Hmm. Project Helix had its own website where the park would add pictures, updates and also post the many YouTube videos that was created during the construction. It also featured a super cool countdown time to launch. The website sadly does not exist anymore, but thanks to technology, I have a treat for you. Here is a fully functioning version of projecthelix.se. Just looking at this brings back memories. Everyone that followed the construction of Helix should get a great feeling while looking at this. Mac rides. Before we start constructing Helix, we need to dive into the manufacturer a bit to really understand what we are up for. There is a lot to mention and in the future maybe a full mini documentary about Mac rides would be in its place, but for now here is the short version. The following is a quote from Wikipedia. Mac rides is a German company founded in 1780 by Paul Mack. He started out building carriages and stagecoaches. The Mack company began building organ wagons and caravans for traveling showmen in 1880, commencing the company's involvement in the amusement industry. Its first wooden roller coaster was built in 1921. Except from making fabulous roller coasters, the Mack family also owns one of Europe's absolute best amusement parks, Europa Park. I sadly still haven't been there, but that will change very soon. As of 2019, MacRides has built 152 roller coasters. The construction of Helix. The preparations for Helix started almost right after the announcement of the coaster was made. But the real construction started first after Christmas in 2012. Trees were taken down, groundwork started and explosions to remove parts of the mountain that was in the way for the layout of the roller coaster. During spring 2013, the old 
3D Cinema Maxima, before known as Simulator, that also was a part of Spaceport Lisebay, was demolished to make way for the station and queue area of Helix. During summer season 2013, when the roller coaster was under construction, the front car to one of the trains was on display in the park. This was a great move to hype what was coming. I can remember that I, me myself, was standing looking at this train and reading this sign more than once during this season. Also during summer, a lot of the foundations for the 120 track supports were projected and built and by October half of them was actually done. But 17 of October we reach the first really exciting milestone of this huge project. The first set of track was mounted and as you can see it's a piece of the first launch. One down, 135 pieces to go. In December 2013, Lisebay took a flight with their drone over the park to give us this great look over the construction of Helix. Enjoy! February 2014 and we are very fast approaching the planned opening of Helix in the end of April. Launch 2 is installed and this is where you for the second time of the ride will be propelled forward by an LSM launch. Soon we will see a top hat installed by the end of this launch. 27 of February the highest track piece was installed and the top hat of Helix was complete. The biggest milestone yet for Helix happens on 20 of March in 2014. The last and final piece of track is installed and it fits perfectly.
the station and queue area of Helix is located in the old 3D cinema Maxima, formerly known as Simulator. In the future, I will make a video about Maxima, Simulator and all of Spaceport, to be fair. Let's have a look into the station of Helix together with Justin Garvanovic from European Coaster Club. Now that's cool. Station with track going apparently nowhere. If you look from here, if you get down, eye height is about here. You can't see anything, it just disappears. I think there's about three or four rides in the world that can claim that. You always see the track and it usually goes off to a lift or something. The fun thing is, as the train leaves the station, when the back of the train's about here, the front of the train's gonna be almost to the bottom of the drop here. So the front of the train's gonna be screaming while some people are still in the station. When you arrive at the station, you arrive over here. There'll be stairs, there'll be a lift as well. The theming in the queue and the station is quite rough, industrial, and a bit science fiction. But the best part is easily the music. It is fantastic and the build up from the queue area to the station is amazing. The music is made by none other than Imascore that have worked so much with Lizabeth since then. The best part of the queue area and the coolest part has to be that you have no idea where you are or where you are going, how long time you have left in the queue and so on. It goes up and down and winds around. 26th of March, it happens again. Another great milestone for Lisebari and Helix. This time, the first car is installed to the track. With construction done, we need to talk about other factors of Helix which made it the success it is. The next level. Before we open Helix, we need to talk about projecthelix.se, the next level and the other things that Lisebay made to hype Helix to the public. As a matter of fact, Lisebay made such a great job with their social media campaign that they during the IAPA event in Orlando, Florida in November 2014 got an award. And not any award, Lisebay received the Brass Ring Award. This is the most prestigious professional honor awarded, marking achievements of excellence throughout the global attractions industry. That, Lisebay, is cool, and that is a great honor. The thing that was so great with Project Helix.se was the interaction with us fans and followers, and not only in Sweden, the website was also regularly updated in English. They posted pictures, texts, videos, and last but not least, they posted the music for the ride. We could use it as a ringtone, but the coolest was that we got a taste of Helix and we could listen to the soundtrack before experiencing the ride. The opening of Helix. The testing started on the ride and you could feel the excitement. I remember this for myself as a very special part of my life, mostly because it was right before this that I very much got into roller coasters and amusement parks. So, naturally, the wait for the opening was slow. So, slow. Lisebay had webcams in the park so we could watch the construction and also let us spy on the first trial runs. I still remember capturing a screenshot on one of the very first test runs with water dummies. March became April and with April it was teasing time. 
The TV commercial for Helix looked like this. April became late April and opening of Healy. <laughs> At 23 of April I got the benefit to try this ride for the first time and it took quite a few rides for the experience to land. The queue area, the station, the music, the drop right out of the station, the ride itself, there is so much going on and the close interaction with so many rides and the use of the terrain. What I knew from my first ride was that it was a world class roller coaster. And easily my own number one roller coaster in the world and it stayed like that until recently. My new number one is also a Mack Rides roller coaster, so they are doing something really great in my opinion. Helix gets quite a long line because the ride it is. So Lisebag came up with something even more to boast the next level feel of Helix. They made Helix the game. Available on App Store and Google Play right now, by the way. So if you don't already have this game, download it and start practicing, because it does come with benefits. The game is packed with minigames based on the Helix experience and elements. To be able to participate in the game, you need to be in the actual queue of Helix. On the screens in the queue area, there is a code that you need to enter to be able to compete. But you better start practicing, because every 15 minutes, the one with the highest points win an express pass. This express pass is then available on the other rides in the park that have express pass, and also Helix, of course. Good luck! Other fun things about Helix. Before entering the queue to Helix, there is a wall on your left side. This wall has mathematical calculations. This wall is covered with calculations, but it also has other things. If you look really close, you can see that it's also signatures. These are signatures from coaster enthusiasts around the world. And mine is there too. If you look really, really closely, maybe you can find it. A very cool feature with Helix that I have not yet mentioned is the lighting on the trains. This makes this ride look, if possible, even cooler. I love that Lisebay is open late at night, that we can get those amazing night runs in not only the roller coaster but everything in the park. By the looks of it, this is something that we will get a lot of this summer season. I can see a lot of days with the park open until 11 at night. Helix with a spin. Would there be a possibility to make Helix even better? My favorite roller coaster in the world, the Ride to Happiness by Tomorrowland, have spinning trains and is made by Mack Rides. Would it be possible to add one of those trains on Helix? The direct answer is a no. The reason for this is many, but a big one is the weight of these trains which I really do not think the tracks on Helix is made for. Also, those trains are really, really expensive, so I do not think that is an option for Lisebay to do anyway. But, we did see something very interesting being tested at Bluefire, the project coaster of Helix, you could say. The last car of the train is replaced by a spinning car. Instead of four seats, you only get two. Lower capacity, but one hell 
of a ride experience. Blackpool Pleasure Beach are doing exactly this with their roller coaster icon, which of course is a Mac Rides and has the same trains as Helix and Blue Fire does. Could we see Lisa Bai do the same with Helix? I do not think that this is out of the question. Helix with a spin might as well become a reality in the future. I have no idea how much a spinning car costs, so I can't speculate on when it could be possible for Lizabai to do so, if that was the case. But personally, I think it's a possibility. And I also do wish for it. The spinning is controlled, so the ride won't go crazy. But it will seriously change the ride, and not one ride will be compared to the other. If it would make Helix better though, remains to be seen. If this ever happens, that is. Let's wrap up this mini documentary. Helix is a fantastic roller coaster, but it is all the things around it that creates the experience. The memories that came to my mind while making this mini documentary is amazing. And the reason for that it's because of Lisa Bay and what they did with their social media interaction. The feeling when I think about Project Helix.se and then finding a preserved version of the website that actually works, the music from the right, it's just amazing and it's such a cool feeling. Lisa Bay is a fantastic amusement park with some really great rides, but Helix is the best they have. This is Coaster Stop, and thank you for watching this mini documentary on the Mac Rides roller coaster Helix at Lisebay. Please like this video, subscribe for more amusement park videos, and leave a comment with your thoughts. And since all of you was voting for Helix and Helix won, the second one was Lisebay's tune at UFO 23, and therefore. The next mini documentary you will get is Lisa Bay's Tune at UFO 23.